Russland hat die Ukraine angegriffen und Russland ist das Land, das jetzt an Schritt gehen muss, etwas tun muss, damit ein Frieden auch möglich wird. Und das, was notwendig ist, ist der Rückzug von Truppen. Als Verbündete sind wir uns einig. Im Fall eines Angriffs werden wir gemeinsam jeden Quadratzentimeter des NATO-Territoriums verteidigen. Das meine ich genau so, wie ich das sage. Und das ist für mich eine ganz wichtige Botschaft, auch an unsere Freunde im Baltikum oder in Polen. And, uh, once the hostilities end, uh, Latvia is convinced that uh, Ukraine also needs to move in NATO's direction with the uh, express intent to make sure that once this war ends, and eventually it will, this year, next year, maybe in, in a few years, but that uh, such an aggression from Russia's side could never happen there as it cannot happen uh, now uh, in the, the rest of NATO. So this is a direction that, that we feel strongly that we should be looking at. Uh, the three Baltic countries, Poland, uh, uh, that was doing this before the invasion, since that time, like, the challenge that we will face is perseverance. The challenge that we all face collectively in Latvia, in Germany, in France, uh, in the UK, in the US, is to make sure that our societies understand that this is not a short-term event. This is not for the spring season. Uh, this is potentially for many years to come where we will have to re-adapt our uh, militaries, our military industry uh, to be able to step up to a much, much bigger challenge. Vielen Dank.